you seen the news about Ghana's new passports? Starting April 28, 2025, Ghana is officially rolling out the chip embedded passports, also known as the biometric e passports. Yes, passports with actual chip inside, just like what the US, UK, and many other countries already use. What does that mean to us? The new chip embedded in the passport stores your personal and biometric data securely. Your name, date of birth, photograph and fingerprints are all digitally secured meaning it's way harder for someone to clone your passport or use fake details to impersonate you fake passports are one of the easiest ways scammers and criminals use to cross borders this chip makes that almost impossible it's like going from a padlock to a fingerprint scanner and it even gets better if you are traveling this could mean faster immigration checks at airports that use e-gates just tap and go according to the ministry of foreign affairs this upgrade brings ghana in line with international civil aviation organization standard it also means that other countries are more likely to trust our passports fewer issues with visa border security and delays abroad now if you are applying for a new passport or renewing very soon you are going to get the upgraded one it's faster and safer rare privilege given to a few um category of Ghanaians and when you read the NLC decree 155 you will see the specialized category of Ghanaians so today I think those of us here uh only a few led by the chief of staff the honorable chief of staff who received the red book uh the modern qualifies for the red book so that is the diplomatic passport and as you know we have streamlined the issuance of diplomatic passports, fully complying with NLC D155. There are no abuses. So if you are here thinking that because it's a special day, you may get a red book, please. If you are not qualified, you are not qualified. Uh, uh, we are strictly complying. Then we have the green book, the dark green book passport. That's the service passport. Thank you, Chief Director. That is for the uh, public servants, chief director, directors, heads of uh, state institutions. Um, there is, there is a, an agreed protocol of those who qualify. So that is the second tier. And then we have the uh, famous um, uh, dark green book, uh, which is for all of us, all of us. Um, uh, these, these are for the masses. And um, what matters, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, what matters? Hey guys, good day to you all. I bring you vital information today as your passport club. I'm here to announce to you that we are now using an e-passport. Do you understand that it means this very old passport you are seeing here, if you apply for a new passport today, this isn't what you are going to get. You are going to get a SIM card embedded passport. Yes, you heard me right. Ghana is going very digital. This does not mean that the old passport is no longer in use. We have 175 security features, overt and covert security features embedded in, as compared to the just past one, which has only 32 security features. Let me briefly touch on the quality. As a document forensic expert and also being part of the production process, we chose only quality materials, talking about the three main substrates that constitute this document, the cover, the leather, which is also part of the document and the forensics, the polycarbonate, which is the biographical data page, which appears as a card now, and the inner pages of the security papers. These are highly certified security materials that you can get anywhere on the planet. Now, when it comes to the production of the document, I will start with the printing techniques. The conventional printing techniques that were employed in producing this book are the state of the arts conventional printing techniques you can get anywhere. The representative from any here can attest to that. The chief director, we saw the machines, and these are Techniques that cannot be replicated by any means. Hence, it guarantees security with the use of these documents. Not only the conventional printing techniques, but also the digital printing technology that is used in personalizing your data when you satisfy the conditions of being issued one. These are 
the state-of-the-art machines that you can get anywhere on the continent. This is the first passport in the country, maybe in the sub-region, if not the continent, that is employing what we call a nanotechnology. The state of the art nanotechnology as we have in the world today is with one passport for security reasons I can't mention, but Ghana is lucky to have this nanotechnology embedded in this passport. Also, the information you see on the passport regarding the visual inspection zone, the machine readable zone, and the photo zones have been encoded and inputted onto an RFID chip which is inserted somewhere in this document. And it is for this reason that I'm going to outline some do's and don'ts on what you should know about the document. For the do's, please, for the don'ts, please, I want to re-emphasize that. Because of the, I'm going to use the technical word here, transparent kinographic overlay, which is embedded with detailed national monuments that are only viewed by machines. Please don't insert things into this passport, especially on this page. Number two, don't put it in your pocket and sit on it. And cut it as much as you can, else when you are using it, there's a possibility that you are going to have problems with the vetting agents, especially immigration, because when we open it, the second security features are affected in there. It affects you more than us. So please, let's grab it together. In conclusion, I want to say that what you see with your physical eyes in my hand here constitutes only 5% of the security inputs made in these documents. For the first, second, and third line security inputs constitute over 175 security features in a year. Hence, it is a valuable document, and nobody should try to alter it in any way. Or, as the law says, allow it to pass into the possession of an unauthorized person, which will affect you. It is therefore our collective responsibility as Ghanaians to guard the integrity of this number one document to ensure that the full benefits of rolling it out today is fully achieved. Now that Ghana done update their international passports, they already changed many features in that passport. They don't already change nothing. So now I now decided to talk like this because uh, we have in my country, no even need to make sure. In my country, we have particular country, particular country. That particular country, you know, where they know they carry their eye, know they see Ghana passport. And now one, only one particular country, you know already, one particular country. But my question here is that: Are we proud? And are we proud as in Nigeria? Say, like the way we normally say that. We are giants of Africans, and we we come down on comments which one we insulted, we attacking, and after doing all those things, you go see pass bike and go and steal Ghana passport, begin using Ghana passport. After you come insulting us, saying a lot of things, a lot of certain things, but now they don't change a lot of feature in the passport. You cannot using it again, but I still have a lot of patience now. I still have a lot of questions. Some people may see me like, oh, this guy in a rubbish, they speak. And people may see me like that. But I'm not speaking rub the rubbish. I'm trying to speak the fact. My question here is that, are we not proud of our passports as a Nigerian? Are you not proud? Because I can say that Nigerians is the only African country who they always go in after people international passports. <laughs> Nigeria. I can say that Nigeria is the only country who will go after other people have uh, international passports. <laughs> I keep imagining it too, like I ask myself this question. You see, I'm not to be fat and to be honest. Me, eh? I don't know why I just did like that too. 
like i not just liking using other african country passport like it's not i don't like it i don't just like it like make i use the travel or maybe like now nah, they ghana they make a go carry ghana passport travel i know i never like her in my life yes i never like it but how did that my question is that how did they you how did they feel like okay just like now like this in day my hand there's a particular phone in my hand in example no be me get time and i cannot defend it then i hold it <laughs> then they can't catch me with me i know say this will not make get them because i don't know what they inside then i not steal it and they can't catch me with it how am i going to defend it how am i going to defend it now the same thing nigerians you are not you are not even in, you are not born in ghana you are not a citizen, citizen in ghana then you go and steal Ghanaian passport then after you steal you go use Ghanaian passport travel and later on, after it's so you come and sort in them again. But right now, they don't upgrade their passport. I'm just bring your ear closer so that you go listen to me. You go hear what I'm saying. Ghanaian, as now stealing of Ghanaian passport, where you have been stealing for a long time. Now it's no longer a gist again. They don't upgrade it. Understand? So now, before you can claim, say you are a giant of African, you should be able to, you should be able to use your own passport, to make you a giant of African. You are claiming you are a giant of African, but you cannot use your own passport. Like, I don't understand. What kind of giants do that? You are shaming. Imagine you are shaming using your passport as a Nigerian claiming Ghanaians. This is a big disgrace now. It doesn't the matter no claim now. It's a big disgrace in my... I don't know how it is in Cambo. It's a big disgrace. Although some people say, this guy is not making sense. He's speaking rubbish. Yes, I understand. He may say so, but that one doesn't mean anything. But claiming of giants... I don't know how... I claim I'm a Nigerian and I cannot use Nigerian passport travel. Then I have to go and steal Ghana. I can call it stealing, claiming Ghana identity because <laughs> understand. Honestly, honestly, what I'm saying is not making sense to people, but I'm just saying I don't even know what I'm speaking normally, but I'm just saying what I think that is right. If you are a Nigerian claiming giants of Africa, why are you using another people's passport? That now the thing with me at the top of that. I don't it's not too too much, okay? <laughs> See me next time. Bye-bye.